now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. We've had three days in a row with highs in the 90s, eight days in a row without rain, and over 21 days in a row of humid air. But all that will be coming to an end later in the week, but we still have some more heat to get through. They're getting a break from the heat in Tokyo, where it's already a Tuesday morning, afternoon, I suppose, right around 12, 12 local time. And they had a little rain out in Tokyo, that rain in the process of diminishing, and though it is still very humid, it's not as hot as it has been with a temperature of 85, and that is a live view of a downtown uh, Tokyo. But highs today were generally uh, in the upper 80s to lower 90s. Uh, Evansville really was a hot spot at 93, was 91 in Henderson and Owensboro. Upper 80s over here in southern Illinois, and tomorrow will be a little bit warmer than it was today, but today was also a little less humid than it was over the weekend, thanks to a cold front that came through the area uh, yesterday. You can see just false returns around the radar site right now, so we'll be rain-free probably until at least Thursday night. Night. Our roofclaim.com tower camera looking over downtown Owensboro. All is quiet there, as is the case on the east side of Evansville. Our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union tower camera with a temperature right now of 79. Dew point is pretty muggy at 70, but we do have a light north wind at around 3 miles per hour. Temperatures generally 75 to 80. Owensboro is a little warmer at 82. Carmi, Fairfield, Henderson cooler at 72 degrees. We'll wind up, I think, in the upper 60s to around 70 by daybreak tomorrow morning. The showers aren't too far away. The front that came through yesterday stalling down here in Tennessee where scattered showers are slowly fading, but high pressure is building into our area. That's going to keep the front down to the south, keep a light northeasterly flow over our area, which is going to keep the humidity at bay, at least for the next couple of days before the very humid air kicks back in on Thursday. But the heat will continue, even though we had a front come through early uh, yesterday. So Future Tracker keeps it mainly clear overnight. It tries to spit out a few spotty showers in our far southern counties. Can't rule that out, but even if you do see one, it's not going to be all that significant. Then tomorrow, looks like a, a partly cloudy, hot, and humid day. A little hotter than it was today. Generally 90 to 95 across the area forecasting 93 for Evansville, Owensboro, 92 in Henderson, feeling like 95 to 100 during the heat of the afternoon. And mainly clear tomorrow night back down into the upper 60s to around 70 to start off our Wednesday, which will be mostly sunny and continued hot and humid. A bit hotter yet. It looks like low to mid 90s Wednesday afternoon with that heat index topping out around 100 during the heat of the day. Then on Wednesday night, we're going to pick up some clouds from weakening storms diving south across Indiana. You can see first thing Thursday morning, a fair amount of cloud cover, but those clouds burn away. We get into a good deal of sun. We're still in the warm air. And so temperatures shoot into the mid, maybe upper 90s on Thursday. Very humid air also kicks in. So we're talking a heat index on Thursday of 100 to 105. Might even get into heat advisory criteria. But the cold front will come in from the north Thursday night. And that will usher in some relief from the heat starting on Friday. So mainly clear overnight, 67 to 70. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, hot and humid, 90 to 95. Seven-day forecast is a little bit hotter on Wednesday at 94. And it's a lot hotter on Thursday with 96 and very humid air. That 30% chance of rain is mainly in the evening and more in our northern counties. The front comes in and some scattered showers and thunder showers will be in the area Friday. And where that front eventually stalls will dictate our weekend rain chances. Right now, got it at about 35 to 40%. Some models are wetter, others are drier. But the important thing here is that once that front comes through, highs are back into the mid-80s and the humidity is off the board starting on Friday right on through the weekend and that would be our first taste of really tolerable humidity in over three weeks but that's still several days away we have three more days of the heat first of all to get through all right thank you Wayne